Hi, welcome to The Stoughton Dish. I'm John Stefano, And on today's show, we're gonna be going out to the Cedar Hill Grill at the Cedar Hill Golf Course. And then we're gonna be going out to the Portuguese National Club, better known to locals as the PNC. But before we do that, we're gonna have a trivia question for today, which is, can you name the donut shop in the 70s that was once located in Stoughton that competed with Dunkin' Donuts? We'll have the answer to that later in the show. But right now, let's go out to the Cedar Hill Grill which is the new hidden jewel in Stoughton. Hi, we're here at the Cedar Hill Golf Course at the Cedar Hill Grill. We're here with Marty and Nate Malone, they are the father and son owners of the restaurant. Now before we discuss this food, we want, want to give us a quick history of uh, your background in the restaurant business, and then we'll take oh, it from there. How we got here, huh? Yeah, how we got here. Yeah, so we've been doing this for about 30 years, cooking, uh, had, a, had a catering company, my own catering okay. company, Malone Catering, mm -hmm. for uh, the last 20. Mostly we focused on um, a lot of private clubs. Mm -hmm. We've been involved in a lot of private clubs, so we were invited to come and be part of uh, the Cedar Hill Renaissance, so yeah. to speak. That's awesome. I mean, they're bringing the course back and uh, a lot of exciting things going on. They invited us to be part of it, mm -hmm. so here we are. Now, when did you, you just opened up? Like a month ago, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, just a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was. Um, it was so we came. Yeah, we came in and. Um, just after the first of the year, mm -hmm. needed to do a little bit of work to mm -hmm. get uh, to get situated, and then uh, we opened up in April. And you know, you don't have to come just for golf. You can come just for oh. dinner or lunch. Or oh yeah, a great place to uh, just grab a bite. Right. Like so, as you can see, we're not like fine dining establishment. It, look, it, looks just, you know, it like, smells really good. Oh, thank you, thank you. Very, you know, simple food, and a great place to grab a bite to eat, a salad, a glass of wine, some wings, mm -hmm. a couple beers after work. Mm -hmm. Now that before, sort of before we discuss the menu at length, we want, why don't we describe what we have here? We'll start, we'll start right up here. Oh sure, so this is our basic uh, cheeseburger. So mm -hmm. we also have a mo burger, okay. which has like sauteed onions and bacon and uh, jalapenos on it. But this is our basic cheeseburger, which is uh, Angus sirloin mm -hmm. that we cut here. We don't grind right. it, but we cut it. So it's like a fresh, fresh burger. You know, grill it to your spec. And uh, then we uh, uh, put uh, cheddar and uh, Swiss cheese on it. Well, I just mm -hmm. want to add, I was here the yep. other day, and they're not the, the burgers aren't frozen. You shape them like the old-fashioned way, yeah, yeah, which, we just, which yeah. I love. Yeah, you know? no, we just cut it right and off it, the tube, and we don't right. press it, it makes, so it's nice and juicy. It makes, and, it makes a difference. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And what do we have here? And so uh, this is a special we have today. This isn't actually on the menu, but we're running it. Okay. Every day we run like uh, yeah, a, a special, special, every special okay. sandwich, special pasta. Okay. You know, again, something pretty uh, so, so every day do we have a different special? Yeah, okay, yeah. We'll, we'll all but Monday. Uh, Close every, on Monday. Okay. Okay. And, but this here is uh, pan-fried meatloaf. So we, okay. uh, so it was, we baked it and we cut off a piece, obviously, mm -hmm. and uh, pan-fry it with pan-fried onions and a horseradish sauce. Okay. And the horseradish sauce is just uh, horseradish, tarragon, sour mm -hmm. cream, really simple, but you got that good gutsy uh, horseradish. Those potatoes look really good. These, yeah, these are roasted potatoes. These are garlic, we call them garlic okay. roasties. Mm -hmm. And we offer these as an alternative to french fries because we don't okay. have uh, fried food here. So actually, something you can dip into ketchup. Actually, I'd rather have those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, you can, and they're great yeah. with your dipping in ketchup. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a french fry, a little right. more, but with some flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, really good. And what do we have here? And this is a loaded chicken Caesar wrap. So on the menu we have a chicken Caesar wrap, basic chicken Caesar wrap, croutons, you know, fresh croutons, grated cheese, our own uh, Caesar dressing, toss it, wrap it in nice flour to okay. But this is like, just like a little step up. Uh, we added bacon to it, jalapenos, onions, mm -hmm. tomato, and cheddar cheese. Okay. We call that a loaded Caesar, uh, right. Caesar wrap. That's very popular. This is one of the most popular things that we serve here. And what other wraps do you have on the menu besides that? Well, we also have uh, the basic tuna, uh, the basic, uh, Caesar wrap, okay. and then we have a tuna melt wrap, mm -hmm. which uh, is white albacore tuna, okay. and just you know lemon juice, a little mayo, uh, pop it on top of the flour tortilla. We pop it in mm -hmm. the oven for a minute with Swiss cheese, cheddar, tomato, and pickle, and then uh, let it bake for a little bit. Cheese gets melty, and wrap it up. I'm glad you have a tuna melt because I haven't had a tuna melt in ages. Mm -hmm. I used to I used to get it at the former restaurant that where Sonic is now, and that. I'm sure, I'm sure yours is much better. But, no. but anyway, 
Uh, I, I probably agree with that. <laughs> um, and the wings. Oh, so chicken wings. So on the menu we have um, orange jalapeno wings, but these are buffalo wings. Okay. So a little deception here. Uh, we did this because we were offering a special on Thursday and Friday right. nights. We were doing 50 cent wings and we're going to do buffalo style. Okay. A little more. Uh, um, and how many, how many kinds popular. of wings do you have? We have this and we have the jalapeno. Oh, the jalapeno orange jalapeno okay. wings. The orange jalapeno wings are a long recipe. Mm -hmm. It's an orange sauce with jalapenos. Mm -hmm. The size of this salad is, I'm, I mean, tell you, it's unbelievable. Yeah, a lot it's, of people take like half of it home. Is this, is this basically like a Greek salad? Yeah, yeah, it's worse than a Greek salad, okay. sure, absolutely. So this is our lemon feta chicken okay. salad. And this, we've been carrying this around for like, as long as I can remember, at least like mm -hmm. 15 years, like different clubs that we were okay. uh, doing the food service for, and people love it. And very simple. So we have a marinated roasted chicken. We marinate and roast the chicken, slice it really thin after we cool it. It's laid out on top of salad greens with our own lemon um, honey herb dressing mm -hmm. and a little bit of feta cheese. And you make, what? how many, how many types of dressing do you have? We have um, you know, about five dress, oh. dressings. So we offer, a, and we make them for the most part. Russian dressing, we make our own. Mm -hmm. Blue cheese, we make our own. Uh, ranch, bottled ranch, <laughs> sorry. Um, and then we have uh, a balsamic vinaigrette okay. and then a honey, uh, lemon honey herb vinaigrette. Okay. Mm -hmm. And can you get now? Do you have steak tips on the menu? We don't have we steak, don't have steak tips, tips because that I, would be great. I was that. That's, that's, that's what idea. I was thinking. That's a good idea yeah. for a special. Okay. Can now look for that as a special, okay. definitely. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And what do we have here? And this is a chicken quesadilla. Okay. So uh, flour tortilla, our own roasted chicken, <laughs> mm -hmm. sliced thin, laid over uh, cheddar and uh, jack cheese, jalapenos, tomatoes, uh, onion, fry the tortilla, serve it with sour cream, salsa. Now, I understand you have a pasta buffet. Yes. Why don't we discuss that? Uh, oh, absolutely. So we, sat, we did that uh, last Thursday. It was a, kind of a trial run, uh -huh. see how people reacted to it. People reacted really well to it. So we're going to do it every Thursday night now. And it, it, again, real basic. So we have uh, three or four different pastas. Okay. We mix it up from week to week because we'll be doing it every week, every Thursday night. We'll be doing it from 5 to 5.30 until 8.30. Okay. So if you get here at 8.29, you can still, we'll still do it. We won't shut down on you. And, um, and then like anything you can imagine, putting in a pasta mm. from chickpeas to oh, chicken to shrimp to uh, pepperoni. Sausage, meatballs. Meatballs. I mean, any, as you pretty much anything. Different type of sauces. Yeah, yeah and then, uh, then we'll have marinara sauce, alfredo okay. sauce, fresh pesto, oleo. Oh. And then you can make some people like put pesto in red sauce that's, that's, and you know, that's we awesome. don't judge anyone. They can, put, they can make whatever, however they want to do it. We'll toss it. We toss it for them, and we serve it with some nice bread rolls and uh, wow. salad. That's awesome. Yep. Now I and we're going to be doing. Uh, I'm sorry, Doug. We're going to be doing uh, rock and bingo on Thursday night as well. Was, so like so from 5:30 oh, until 8:30, yeah. uh, we'll be doing the pasta bar. But then like about 7:30, 8 o'clock, uh, we're going to be doing the rock and bingo. No, mm -hmm. the rock and bingo is. Yeah, it's really cool. It's uh, bingo cards with different songs on it, right? Oh, okay. And um, you, the DJ plays the song, uh -huh. and then uh, if you get, you have to first guess the song, and then play. Wow, you know, that's awesome. you know, get your uh, your trip or whatever they give you. You do catering out on the field, and you also do do it here. Now, mm -hmm. the, how many people does this room hold for functions? Oh, so we'll hold ninety people in um, in this room. And you know, so we've recently done a uh, birthday party. Uh -huh. uh, actually, we've done a birthday party, graduation party, and the shower recently. Uh -huh. And that's kind of what this room's great for: those smaller events in your life. You know, not you know, not the wedding, but right. like you know, like after a funeral, like, you know, you know, after oh, yeah. you know, a birthday party, or you know, okay, graduation. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, anywhere between 40 and 90 people. This you can come in. We have some groups that are coming in by like the dozens, which uh -huh. is great. We'll we'll. But uh, you know, 30, 40 people, perfect for this room. And how much, how much of a notice do you know? Do you need to know? It all depends on it what's going on in our life at that, at that moment because we do the, the outside catering. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we're committed off site, and so we wouldn't be able to do, do the catering here. But you know, you can always call now, us and we'll uh, do the best we do can. Do you, you have different menus for the catering? You do like uh, for lunch, dinner? You yeah. Know, um, what do you, oh, absolutely. What type, what type of food do you have for catering? Uh, so we do any, any kind of catering for box lunches to. Um, you know, a full service, mm -hmm. you know, sit down, uh, fine dining meal. So, you know, uh, filet mignon right. to uh, hot dog, burger, mm -hmm. cookout. You know, really, whatever whatever you need in between. Now, is that where you got your start in catering and then you went to the restaurant? No, no, I started out in the restaurant mm -hmm. business. I, uh, I started out as a dishwasher at okay. York Steakhouse in Oh, Denham. York Steakhouse, I remember yeah, York so Steakhouse. Yeah, so I don't know, like... <laughs> 
There was over one, 30 there, years there ago. Was one at, there was one at Westgate Mall. Yes, yes. we played softball against okay. them. So, <laughs> so we used to, like the dead of one played soft. We used to play softball against those. Very and where, hardcore. Oh yeah. Where else have you worked? Uh, yeah. So I started there dishwashing, and um, and then I started cooking. You know the steaks, and then I moved on to a restaurant called Pippins in Dedham. Okay, I've heard of Pippins. And then so I, I worked there for a while. I worked under a couple of really good chefs there, and um, then I went out to the Hilton. I worked for the Hilton. Worked for a few really good chefs there. And then I kind of got into, uh, then I got Norfolk. called across the street from the Hilton was uh, Norfolk Golf Club. Okay. And so they, so I went over there. Oh, what happened? They asked me to do a car. They need, they called the chef at the Hilton saying they needed someone to carve a roast beef. So I went all over and I carved the roast beef like one time. And then the chef left and, he, and they were like, oh, remember the guy who carved the roast beef? Let's talk to him. <laughs> so, so that was like a year later. So we went over to there, to, the, to uh, Norfolk. And, and became their caterer, like pretty exclusive to that, their caterer, their food service guy. And then became their food and beverage guy, and then started doing some catering on the side. And then the catering kind of built up. And as we moved around, we kept the catering thing going. So we went from Norfolk, and then we went to uh, Needham Golf Club. And was, we were there for a few years. And again, doing the catering, doing their in-house uh, food and beverage service, and then doing the catering. And then we went over to Sharon, and then from Sharon to here. Great. So that's a brief history. Do we, were you part of the Sharon Country Club? I'm sorry? Were you, were you part of Sharon Country yep. Club? Yeah, we did the food and beverage there for like the past four oh, years. Oh, okay, because I used to golf there all the time. Oh, is that right? And I'm, well, not all the time. I used to come here a lot, too. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, you know, I want people to realize, but this is a very beautiful course. It's an excellent it's course. course it's, I mean, we're yeah. so lucky to have this in Stoke. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. I mean, they do a good job. It's a great it's, amenity in the yeah, town. Yeah, it's, it's very, I'm telling Definitely. you, I'm not, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, they keep it up really nice. Yeah, they've been doing a really good job. And again, like we were talking about before, there's sort of a renaissance going on. Mm -hmm. And that's why they brought me and Nate in to be part of that. And we're really glad, really like honored, really to be part of the, this mm -hmm. this resurgence of the uh, Cedar Hill. And I want to, you know, I want people to realize also, you know, again, you don't. It'd be nice if you come here to golf, but you don't have to come here just to golf. Come here for lunch. Come here for dinner. Oh, absolutely. You know? That's how we're going to attract golfers. Right. People are going to come to eat and mm -hmm. see the really great golf course, and they'll be like, oh, we should play golf too. But no, you can Nate, definitely come here to eat any time <laughs> that we're open. For sure. I understand you have a Bloody Mary. Yes, this, this your own Tito's Cacaccio? Bloody Mary. Okay. Uh, so there's extra hot horseradish, Tabasco. Oh, very secret. <laughs> oh, it's, a secret. <laughs> it's a secret recipe, it's but I'll tell you. Okay, we won't discuss that. It, but it's got all the Bloody it Mary. Has all the, it has all the stuff in it. <laughs> no, it's an actually, he makes a great Bloody Mary, everyone says that. It's Nate Dogg's, Nate Dogg's famous Tito's Bloody Mary. And Nate, you're yes, the sir. manager of this operation. I am. You're like the behind the scenes person, right? Yep, I am the bar oh. manager. Okay. And then I help off with uh, the catering stuff. I love the fact how it's a father son duo. Well, I, mean, I, like, I like that mm -hmm. a lot. And we get along great all the time. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> very, very great. <laughs> you kind of have to. <laughs> he tolerates me. He definitely does. You know, when I first came here the other day, I, I thought it was his brother, to be honest with you. Because he know. looks so old. Well, no, you look so young. <laughs> <laughs> you look so, so young. I thought it was, I said, that's your father. <laughs> oh, that's nice of you to say. Thank you. Now, Nate, what made you follow in your father's footsteps? Ever since I was a kid, I always, like, if you ever got in trouble or anything, you have to go to work with your dad mm -hmm. in the dishwash. Yeah. And I actually kind of liked it. I'd go in and peel carrots and mm -hmm. do all the prep work. And Wash stuff a lot like of that. dishes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> So I kind of, kind of liked it. So then after high school, I just jumped aboard when we were at Sharon. That's great. That's great. And I, you know, from the food, from the look of the food, it shows how dedicated you are. Oh, I thank think, you. you know, I think it'll be a great success. The place looks awesome. You guys did oh, an you awesome job. Because I've been here thank before. You. you know, you guys did a really good job. Oh, I appreciate now, that. Now, what are your hours of operation? Oh, so we open at 11 o'clock every day. Okay. Like, uh, the world. Every day that we're open, we're open at 11, okay. the only, which is every day except for Monday. And then we open from 11 to 7-ish um, to mm -hmm. on uh, Tuesday, and like Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, we're here till about 7. And then uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're here till 9. Now, takeout, all, all menu items are available for takeout, right? They are. And you, yes. is there a special number for takeout? Yes, yes. So you could call, uh, call us at 781-436-5756. Five, five, okay. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. Well, thank you for coming. And we'll be seeing you.
We're here at the Portuguese National Club, better known to locals as the PNC, and we're here with Nelson Santiago, the chef here. I come here a lot. I'm usually here at least once a week. But what I like about this place is the food is just, it's spot on. You know, it's very delicious. It's, it's like home cooked meals, but with the Portuguese flair. It's, it's kind of like the hidden jewel in town. You know, people, people don't know about it until they come to a function here and they come downstairs. I know when I come to a function, if the bar is busy, I'll come down here for mm -hmm. my drink and I'll notice people are people sitting down and eating. That's how I found out about it. And before we talk about this food, this delicious food, um, I'm just gonna ask you about your culinary background. Where did you go, where did you go to school for cooking, Nelson? Portugal. Portugal? Yeah, the Portugal, Portugal? Non Porto. What's the name? On Porto. Porto, Portugal. And how long have you been here for? America? Yeah. 2004. 2004. I lived here for 13 years 13 ago. years? Yeah. Total time here? Mm-hmm. Now, Nelson, it looks like there's a lot of work that goes into this. Now, why don't you tell us how, how you do this? The food you have to make with love. Yes. That's you have one to be happy. That's the number one ingredient. Sing, play for everybody. Oh, I, oh, I hear you. Hey, bah, make noise because this food is delicious. You have to make it happy. Well, I hear if you're not happy, you see I might make, but you're not happy, your food no great. Well, I hear you in the kitchen singing when I'm here. Yeah, I always attack <laughs> the kitchen singing, my radio, pa, 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 pa. I talk for everybody, I love you, I love you, everybody, because this will make nice food. Well, it, it shows. They could it make shows. a nice the food. food. I'm going to go for the kitchen. <laughs> The food, nah. The food no is word. excellent. Food need love. When I come here, I always order these three dishes. I mean, there's other things on the menu, but mm -hmm. this is what I like the best. Thank when we you. talk about this first, this is Portuguese steak. Yes. And why don't you tell us about it? You got the steak and the steak, fried eggs and rice. Okay. This is uh, a traditional Portugal Portuguese plates. Right. Yeah. Now, what kind of rice is that? Yeah, there's Portuguese rice. Portuguese there's rice? onions, water, zochi, and uh, yeah, make a uh, small time. Mm -hmm. And you got the uh, Portuguese fries. 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 the fries. Portuguese 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 What's, that's what, the linguista sandwich? Linguista sandwich. Okay, it also comes with the Portuguese fries. Yeah. And the linguista is just to die for, so that's so tender too. Now, when I come here, this is what I always get when I come here. You know, I either get one of these three dishes, but they have other things on the menu. And this is the menu here. It's in English and it's in Portuguese. Portuguese. They have appetizers, they have soups, they have salads, they have other kinds of meat dishes. They have seafood dishes and a lot of pork and chicken. But this is what I want to talk about, the, sea, the seafood stew or the fish stew. Mm -hmm. And what comes into the fish, what, what do you get in the fish stew? A shrimp, mussels, clams, and fresh fish. Okay, what else? Tom what tomatoes, else? Uh, red peppers, green peppers, onions, garlic, leaves, and thyme. And the fish stew, you name it, it's in there. I mean, everything in there is so, the fish is so tender. And you can take the bread, you, you can take bread and you mop up the, the sauce with the bread. And you can see the portions, the portions are outstanding. You're not gonna leave here hungry. Nelson, thank you for having us. And we'll be right back with the Stoughton Dish. My review for this episode is a burger from Jake's Wayback Burgers, which is located at the corner of Washington and Central Street in Stoughton. And they have many type burgers there, but the one I like in particular is called the Rodeo Burger. And I like the Rodeo Burger because you can either have it with a single, double, or triple burger. It has cheddar cheese or American cheese, onion rings, and barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce is very tangy, and I like the onion rings because they're thick, and the bun is toasted. I like the fact you can pair it with these very thick cut large potato chips. You can either have it with french fries or potatoes. I like it with the potato chips. And what I like to do actually in fact is put the potato chips on the burger. When you bite into it, it's very crunchy. 
Jake's has many other burgers on their menu, but the Rodeo Burger is the one that keeps me going back. That's my review for this episode. You can check out my other reviews on the Stoughton Enthusiast page on Facebook. Before we leave you today, the answer to today's trivia question, which was, can you name the donut shop, which was located in Stoughton and competed with Dunkin' Donuts in the 70s? And the answer is Dip and Sip Donuts, which was located in Daddy's Dairy Plaza on 138 in Stoughton. Thanks for watching. I'm John DeStefano, and we'll see you next time on The Stoughton Dish.